if we think about the holy name, it's it's not a punya karma, it's transcendental. It's an offense to think that chanting Hare Krishna is punya karma. What offense is that? Eighth offense. It says, dan, brata, tapa. Eighth offense in Sanskrit. You can see in art of chanting. Dan, brata, tapa, hota, homa. All these activities, these are punya karmas. So to equate or to think the holy name is equal to dan, brata, tapa, homa, hota, hota, hota yagya which these are all punya karmas, that is aparad. Number eight, eighth offense. You must be knowing. We should know these. So to think that, so here it's saying, it's saying, the verse says in Sanskrit, of course the holy name is not punya karma, it's transcendental. And wherever it's chanted, it gives the full effect. Nitya mukta purna shudha. So if you chant the holy name Rindavan, you get a million times the benefit. You chant the holy name at JNK, you get a million times of benefit. Mm-hmm. You chant the name in Hyderabad, you get a million times of benefit because it's Ananta. The holy name is Krishna, Ananta. So it doesn't really apply. But the but the atmosphere is much easier to chant here. But the verse says this, verse 33, 7th canto, chapter 14. Dharma hitta pumsam sahasradi falodaya. Pretty simple. Fal udaya sahasra adi. At least... Adi means more, even more than a thousand. Pumsa means person. Hitta means benefit, dharma. Dharma hitta, the benefit of any dharmic activities done in the holy dharma Vrindavan is 1,000 times the fruits. Fal udaya, sahasrafal. Sahasrafal, 